To help your child understand long division, we can use what we call the chunking method. Now, long division is not everybody's favourite, but hopefully this method can help your child understand that a little bit further. If we take 468 divided by 6, we could subtract 6 from 468 many times until we have nothing left. We simply then count up how many subtractions we've done and that would be our answer. Now that in itself is a long laborious process. So what we do, the chunking method, would use chunks of six. So we strip away chunks of six until we have nothing left. We add up how many times we've done that and that will be our answer. This method of division is called chunking and it's such a brilliant way to help your child do division, which is often a big sticking point for children. I'm going to start with a really complex question, 468 divided by 6. Now this does rely on your child knowing their 6 times table. I'm going to start down the right hand side creating a mini times table involving 6s. Now I know that 1 times 6 is equal to 6. I'm going to double that for now. 2 times 6 is 12. I'm going to double it again. Four, double it again, 48. Now, I need to try and get close to this number here. And at the moment, I'm nowhere near. If I was to say 80 times 6, I would get 480. Now, that tells me that I'm actually too big with my chunks of 6. So what happens if I do 7 times 6? Well, that's 42. So 7 T times 6 is equal to 420. Now that I can use. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract 420 from 468. So 420, using the counting on method in my head, is going to give me a remainder of 48. Now I know that that represents 70 lots of 6. That's a chunk of 76s. I can use this times table again to have a look, can I find a 48 in it? Well, yes, I can. So I'm going to subtract the 48 until I get zero. And I know that that is worth eight lots of six. So my chunks are 70 and eight. So my total there is simply 78. And that is my answer for a very complex question. Hope that helps.